Hello everyone, welcome to Spurs News. Today we're going to have an episode about the top 10 news around the world in regards to football. And we're going to be focused on European football because that's the most popular right now. If you have any questions, if you want us to include news from other parts of the world, let us know and we will try to do that in the future videos. Thank you for watching the Spurs News. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. And let's get to it. Let's spur our way to glory. Now, first of all, we're going to start off with the biggest news everybody's been circulating is Messi wants out. Messi wants out and Messi is determined to leave the club. Now, Ronald Koeman joined the club and he said the superstars are not in his future plans. Now, superstars that are not in his future plans, namely are Luis Suarez, uh, Ivan Rakitic and many and two more. Two more could be Messi and two other players. Okay, now, now in our opinion at the Spurs News, we believe that there is only one club and only one club that can buy Messi or bring Messi to their team. And that's Manchester City. I don't think PSG are ready to make such a transfer possible for Messi just because of the age and uh, a, lot of, a lot of question marks around this transfer because uh, are, Barcelona gonna let, are Barcelona going to let him go for free? Or are Barcelona going to ask for 700 million release clause? If that's, if that's the case, I don't think anybody would be interested in his services for the, just to sign him for two or three years coming up. Now, Barcelona would, would deteriorate all the agreements or all the relationship they have built with Messi over the past two decades. If this, to, if this is to happen, if this is going to happen now let us know what you think about the Messi move should Messi leave Barcelona can Messi be at another club if that's the case will someone pay for him 700 million pounds or dollars it's it's for me it's out of question I would never consider it such a deal I know Messi is one of his once in a lifetime uh, player but it's uh, 700 million as well. So let me know what you think. Great. Now, uh, Chelsea confirmed the signing of Thiago Silva from uh, on a free. Now, I don't understand why the Spurs didn't do the, such a deal. It's a phenomenal deal for any club. This player uh, has proven that he is worth every penny. He played at his best against Bayern Munich and he showed that he still has the potential to, to perform for any team. We saw Bayern Munich hammer every team they they passed in the Champions League by eight or seven goals, but they couldn't do it against PSG. And this is namely because of their defending and their style of play. Of course, I give credit to Thiago Silva as one of the main reasoning behind this. Let me know what you think. Aaron Moy moves from from the English Premier League to China, and now this is one of the biggest news because. You know, it really does happen, but if it does happen, you know there's money behind the, the reasoning for such a move. And this is what happened with Aaron Moy. I don't blame him, but this is one of the top 10 news circulating this week. Tottenham Hotspurs did win 4-1 today against Reading. And they sh and the, the two stars, two players started in the game, which are Dele Alli and, of course, no one other than Hyung Min Son. Young Min Son showed his class once again. He's one of Spurs' top top players. Luis Suarez is potentially on the move to a lot of teams, and he could be moving, namely, to Spurs. Now, he and Ivan Rakitic could be on the move, and they would be ending up at Spurs if if the if Daniel Levy will pay them what they want in terms of salary, and then if the, he meets their expectations. Now. These players, if they are to come, they are going to change the way the Premier League looks right now. They are veterans, but they have a lot of quality and technical ability that we would not have seen in the Premier League in the last few years. Namely, namely because a lot of the players are young and used, usually are developing at most of the teams. Namely, we are talking about you know players such as Harry Wings and... Uh, other players at other teams. Okay, the Spurs have been handed, uh, let's say, a positive transfer. Uh, has Spurs has been handed a boost in for one of the targets from Inter Milan. Conte has declared that he wants this person to be gone. Milan Skriniar. 
is on the move and he would have to be sold by this transfer window because Conte doesn't want him to stay at the team since he signed a new contract with Inter Milan. As we said yesterday, uh, a, an Arsenal fan will be joining Spurs and his name is Doherty and he will be coming from the Wolves. As we said at the Spurs news, that would be a wonderful signing. Just we hope that he's not an Arsenal fan like he had tweeted a couple of years back. Let me know what you think at the Spurs news. What do you think of such a deal? Is that a good deal? Would you sign a player that supports your rival or not? Okay, uh, there are reports coming. Reports are coming out saying that Diego Costa from Atletico Madrid would be available for signing. He is valued at 56 million and Mourinho loves him. He's the bad boy of football and Mourinho had worked with him before. Mourinho understands how to get the best out of him. So let us know what you think about this deal. Should it happen or not? Spurs look to raid Real Madrid for two players. Rogue alone for left back position as Sevilla are pursuing Alonso from Chelsea. Now this will open the opportunity for them to sign this player for only 18 million. We have reported how good a, a talent he is and Real Madrid are not interested in keeping him. Now there is also, also another player that Spurs are interested in signing which is Alonso. They are interested in signing Alonso from uh, Real Madrid and he could be available for as low as 15 million pounds. The Spurs had two bids rejected for Nicolo Zaniolo and this is crazy because we had expressed our concern for the club's finances as uh, we had taken out a loan of 175 million from the British government so I don't understand if this, these reports are true or wrong. All right, Mourinho has, is doing something unbelievable. If this is true, like the report says, then uh, I would have to take my hat off for Jose Mourinho. But if I take it off, you would not want to look at me right now. My hair is kind of mess. It's a big mess. Anyways, taking this into serious uh, light, Mourinho is learning Korean, Korean to talk to his one of to one of his players. He is learning Korean so he can speak to one of his star players at Tottenham Hotspurs. If that's the case, now I know why he's one of the best managers in the world. He does work as hard as he can to make his players feel comfortable and this is just showing a, a appreciation to the player and his culture. And Mourinho does already speak, speak around six languages right now, Catalan, English, uh, Spanish, Portuguese and the list goes on. Italian is one of them, of course. Fires ridiculous encounter in uh, in the Greek islands and uh, how he got involved with the brawl and how he uh, hit some of the officers at the island just uh, just after his girl, his uh, sister got stabbed in a club. Him and his friends did end up in jail and they tried to bribe the cops in in Greece and that landed him in hot water with his team and could be stripped of his captain C armband at Manchester United. Everton are set to sign Abdoulaye Dakore from uh, Watford. Abdoulaye Dakore has been uh, in question or been uh, uh, has been at uh, the center of interest of a lot of clubs, namely Spurs as well. But Abdoulaye Dakore set to complete a 35 million pound transfer from Watford to Everton. That's good news for Everton. That's bad news for Spurs. I hope uh, Abdoulaye Dakore des he deserves a lot of credit for the performances he had put in this previous this season or the previous season. But I will, it's unfortunate that he would end up at Everton. It's one of our rivals, and we think they have gotten a very good deal for him. And this is one of the biggest news that happened this week, one of the biggest transfers. He signed a five-year deal with them. I think that's great news for both player and club. Uh, just unfortunate they are a rival as well, but it's good, good business for them. And I think he will perform at his best at uh, Chelsea and they need him. Okay, thank you for watching this first news. This is an episode where we will bring you the top news in the world of football and we will try to keep it as current as possible and as interesting as possible please let us know what you would like to see in the future episodes uh, please like share and subscribe and we hope to see you tomorrow thank you for watching the spurs news
Let's spur our way to glory. Oh, 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 o